So let's go ahead and start getting the components reassembled into the case. Uh, and first of all, let's go ahead and get the, the power supply in. Let's see here. It just kind of snaps down over these slots like that and then Attach the screws here. When I got this, there were only three of these screws holding the power supply in. And there was only one screw holding either of the disk drives in. And I discovered that the screw holding the disk drives in was actually the missing screw <laughs> from back here. And the, uh, you know, the disk drive, um, these are a standard screw size for uh, PC cases, even fairly modern ones. So. I'll just put new screws into the where the disk drives are and put these four back here. Let me see if I can get a little bit better approach on this one here. go. All right, uh, power supply reattached. And now let's get the motherboard reinstalled. Um, when I got it, it was missing, I think, three of these standoffs, maybe two of them. Uh, it was easy to find um, replacements for those on eBay. And this kind of just slides into these slots here. That looks good. And there's two screws that hold it down and ground it to the chassis. Fairly long thread pitches there. All right, motherboard is secured. Looks good. Let's go ahead and reattach the power. So it's always black to black, the orientation, even though I think these cables might be too short to do it any other way. If there's any doubt, you want to do black to black. That's the, those are the, the grounding lines. I've gotten that one off by one. You see? All right, those are attached. Um, oh yeah, let's also. Hopefully you can see this. I want to get the speaker reattached just so later I don't think it didn't beep. When I power this up, which I'm pretty excited about this, I really, really hope that it works. Okay, I think that's the motherboard all reattached.
uh, let's go on to getting the disk drives uh, reinstalled. All right, let's get drive one slid in here. The, uh, there's actually a pretty tight tolerance between the, <laughs> the edge of that case and some of the components on the curler board, especially these. Ah, goes right in. Okay, I'm going to be using some very non-period correct um, thumb screws to hold these in here just because I suspect I will be uh, removing these at some point, if the, especially if the drives need any kind of work, which I kind of think, sad to say, I think this drive might. It, it, it is not super um, smooth sounding when I rotate it by hand. Okay, these are the wrong screws. Like I said, when I got this um, computer, this drive on this side, there were no screws holding it in. Um, and this drive on the other side only had one screw and it was one of the screws from the power supply. Okay, so that is firmly attached. Let's see what makes sense here. Molex is sort of upside down facing upwards. Hmm, okay, that's not too bad. All right, on to drive two. And drive two. Hopefully just like the first. Okay, that looks pretty flush. I'm going to grab that controller card and just should be fine. We'll get that in there next, though. All right, um, in with the controller card. You know, I did just want to deoxit this um, connector real quick. I'll be right back. All right, a little deoxit. at the edge connector here as well. And let's see. Just want to make note of the on the card pin two, pin one is up. Just so we are sure when we go to connect the cable that we get that in there the right way around. There's just barely enough room. In fact, I might have to go ahead and install the cable. Ooh, yeah, tight quarters here. Okay, it looks like we're in, looks like we're connected. Um, let me get a mounting screw for that and we'll be done with the drives. Make sure we're 
are straight up and down. Looks nice and secure. Um, now let's put in the graphics card. All right, I'm going to put this in um, this slot out here, trying to get it to line up with the the card support out at the end here. I only still have one of those. I've been looking and searching for the little plastic bracket at this end for more of those. I only have one right now. I would really like to have more of those. I do have a couple other uh, long format cards that I would like to get supported. Assuming they work. Assuming this one works. Um, all right. It's not really a matter of support out here, it's a matter of alignment, I suppose. Hmm, and that actually doesn't even... I wonder if the metal's bent out a little bit or something. All right, anyway, that is in place and it's secured. All right, uh, I think we could actually test this at this point. That is super exciting. My initial plan had been to do the case as well, um, and I have some stuff in the works for that, but this is too exciting. I wanna do this now. So yeah, next up, I'll get this set up uh, inside and uh, we'll get, power connected to it, I guess. Wow, that's super exciting. Um, all right, here we go. Alrighty, I've got the uh, IBM 5150 set up uh, in my all too messy office. I've got it hooked up to uh, HDMI monitor via the RGB to HDMI. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, flip that switch. I'm mostly hoping for a beep here. No discs are in the drives. Just want to see what happens. So here we go. Okay, so we got an instant um, Shutting down of the power, so that means probably that there is a short or something along those lines. Um, let me start disconnecting things and uh, try this power up a few more times. Okay, I tried, um, I just disconnected just the second drive, tried powering it on again, and it, it actually powered up. I reconnected the second drive, tried it again, and it powered up again. So let's give it one more shot here. It seems to take a while. Maybe it's uh, checking memory or something like that at this point, not really sure. There is no video output at this point. Okay, now it seems like it's booting. Drive A is acting like it wants to read a disk. I do have some uh, reproduction PC-DOS disks. Let me just try putting one in. Disk boot failure. Uh, 
flashing display. I probably don't have um, the correct display set up. Let me let me look into that. I'll bring you right back. Okay, um, a few problems going on there. I think one of them is that the disk drive I was using as drive A probably uh, has a fault. I kind of anticipated that. That's the one where when I spun the spindle by hand, it sounded a little crunchy. Um, so, uh, full disclosure, I have acquired a second, uh, or a third rather, uh, Tandon uh, drive. Um, and this one was sold to me as known, good, and working. I've switched that one into the drive A position. I've um, swapped the termination resistors over. Um, and let's give this one a shot. So... Getting a blinking cursor, it also seems like my display is still uh, blinking in addition to the cursor being blinking. That's something I will have to uh, figure out. I do get a 301. I'll need to look up what that error code is. But the floppy is... You can probably hear it. The floppy is seeking. Stuff is happening. And, okay, we're at a uh, current date prompt. <laughs> this is the point where um, it becomes critical that I don't have a keyboard that I can use with this. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is super uh, positive. I'm going to go and try to look up that 301 code, see if I can resolve that. Um, and then I will play around with the, um, with the RGB to HDMI and see, why I, see if I can figure out why it would be flashing. Um, and I will bring you back when I have more. Okay, and here's here's the latest um, display I'm getting. I looked up the 301 error, and that is indeed the keyboard being absent, which is absolutely correct. Um, I do have one on the way. Um, and the flashing display issue was just a matter of, um, of downloading uh, the latest software for the RGB to HDMI um, and putting that on the... On the uh, memory card. So yeah, that's super positive. Um, very, very cool. I'm, I'm very happy to see this machine actually booting and working. Um, and hopefully enjoyed uh, watching me put it back together and take these first initial steps. And um, I'll let you know more when I have uh, more to show. Thanks for watching. And just for sticking around to the end, we are going to do a bonus uh, unboxing here. I think I know what this is. So here we go. Yep, bunch of packing peanuts. Huh. And some kind of mystery keyboard. Well, but mostly packing peanuts. Luckily, I know just what to do with these. I just package them back up and send them on to someone who really appreciates them. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs>